gonna do it on Haiku's top 10 moments, which is posted by the Titans of Volleyball. It's an enormous YouTube channel for highlights and everything. Uh, they posted the top 10 moments of Haiku, and I wanted to run a reaction video, and I wanna know if you guys like it. So at the end of the video, if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys think uh, I should stick to teaching, then I'll do that. But if you wanna check out any other volleyball content or how to's or advice on volleyball, follow our channel, like, subscribe, you know the deal. All right, so the 10 most epic moments in Haiku. Haiku or Haiku? You guys tell me in the comments. Let's get started. Three, two, one, let the show begin. Go. All right, we got a guy with red hair flowing in the wind. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! That dude got some height. And he just stole your ball. That's kind of a dick move. But I like the slow walk. Kind of looks like me after losing a tournament. <laughs> That's what I do when I surf. Stop, kiss the ball, take a look at it. Oh, the two-handed jumper. Oh, I like the reverb on it. First of all, a ball doesn't flatten out like that when it hits the ground. That's a little nuts. Let's bounce it. But it's not. Hammer. There's some good screenshots. Those are good photos. Hey, you guys are photographers out there. Oh, good collapse pass. This kid, what's his name? The kid in red, he skies. That's nuts. Oh, you got salad fingers. <laughs> you got weak little fingers if you're blocking like that. Come on, man, do some fingertip push-ups. Tape ace is the worst. Oh, see, no, time out, time out, pause. That's one thing that nobody does. I mean, and everybody should do. If the ball hits the tape and it goes over the net, go get it. Point's not over. Yes, it sucks. Sometimes it's impossible. But if you can just like keep one of those every match from hitting the ground, you're set. <laughs> Guys, if you're not pursuing tape bases, go for it. <laughs> and that's such Japanese high school volleyball. Where <laughs> they're just sprinting across the court. Like that stuff happens. Who's this little weakling? A white haired guy? Oh, of course. White haired guy can fly. No. I'll deal with it. Over you! <laughs> oh, I love going over a triple block. Nasty over the shoulder set. Oh, is that the fake option? Say goodnight. Okay, that's a perfect platform. If they, I mean, take a picture of that. Make sure your fingers look like that. That's golden. This series, I tell everybody about a series. If you're a volleyball player and you haven't seen the series, it's like they nail every single thought right into your brain. Like every thought that you've ever had going from just starting volleyball all the way through the top level. It's like they nail it. They nail your internal voice. It's so good. Good draw. Nice chest, then elbow, then hand. See that locked hips in the air, elbow rotated back. Everybody thinks that when you hit, you turn your hips towards the center and you can't do that. You can't jump and twist. I mean, you want to be open to your center, which means that like your right hip stays behind the ball, but you don't want your hips to turn so that you're completely 90 degrees to the net. You want them to be open. And then when your hips, like my hips are facing the camera, then my chest rotates back and that's how I should take off. Oh, gritty teeth. Miss the pancake. Sucker! Going hungry for breakfast. These guys just sprinting across the net. Those are beach hands. Those are old beach hands. Nice deep dish. He's gonna penetrate. He's gonna penetrate real deep. Mm -hmm. Say goodnight. Oh, he's strong. Look at that angle. It's like eight foot line. That's nasty. I had like two of those in my career. <laughs> That's it. Not a bouncer. He's tight. That's one of those tight swingers. He's like flexing while he's swinging. He's got no noodle. See, that guy's a tight swinger. I mean, he's like, it's too tight. Probably one of those strong guys that can just release the cannon. But if you loosen him up, he's a threat. Oh, the prayer hands. It's good for setting. 
I mean, I'm sure he's just like praying or hoping, but if you teach yourself to, to pray your hand when you're setting, oh man, it's this will open up your set. So you look like this. Most people like leave their hands flat up to the ball. If you're, if you're setting for beach, you turn them this way. DJ Classic, he's like, hey, pray up to the sky and then separate your hands. And that's a good shape for setting. Why is his fingers twitching? He's got twitchy fingers. Careful, dude. Go, oh, Jesus, he almost got knocked out. And that was on the 10 foot line. Tooled, you're easy. Back speed set. He's going to the pin. You know he is. Somebody's gonna cut it off. He's a southpaw, Travis Mayweather. Oh, there's daylight. You're exposed. Actually, he got locked out. Oh, he saw daylight and then it closed up. Oh, I hate when that happens. You got that hole and then <clears throat> old clamp him. These guys get fired up. Not to go super saiyan. All right, looks like they're winning the championship or humping each other. Not, not sure which. Either way, it's exciting. My reaction to it, I think IQ is fantastic. I think I have to catch up on my seasons because I've only watched like three quarters of the first season. And uh, I do want to give some commentary on what happens in that series. So if you guys want to check out more reaction videos from me, Tell me if this was boring or stupid or whatever. Uh, if you did enjoy it, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and we always put out content with volleyball tips, volleyball advice, and if you ever want to join us for an online course or a camp or a training program, uh, we got you. Just head over to betterbeach.com. So I got more IQ to watch, and I uh, hope you guys follow along. Check you later.